Another important feature of Mid-Atlantic English is our strong resistance to what linguists call the caught-cot merger. For most people with this merger, caught is pronounced exactly the same as cut. So they'd say, I caught a ball and a cut. In Pittsburgh, they'd say, I caught a ball and a cut. But here, we'd say, I caught a ball on a cot. A Pittsburgher would say, Don Corleone. And a Californian would say, the break of Don. The caught cot merger is spreading like wildfire throughout much of the country. But certain dialects are resisting, using different strategies. The Great Lakes cities are saying, I caught the ball on the cat. The South is saying, I caught the ball on the cot. New York City and the Mid-Atlantic are saying, I caught the ball on the cot. The aw oh sound is getting more extreme, more and more different from ah. Uh. For us, night will never be followed by Don. So New York and Middle Atlantic both resist the merger by going crazy with the aw oh sound, but that's one of the few similarities between the two. There is still a northern accent, and we're still a Midland accent, which is demonstrated by these two words. In New York, they're both ah, and in Philly and Baltimore, they're both aw. Oh. So a New Yorker would say, yo, you just want the light on or off? And we'd say, yeah, you just want the light on or off? There ain't that much that the big three northeastern dialects have in common, but one of them is what we do a short O before intervocalic R. You're thinking, what the hell does that mean? Well, let me give you an example. Most of the country says, oranges from Florida have historically been horrible. Except us, and probably Florida. It's like the or and sore, but for us it's like the or and sorry. So we'd say, the oranges in Florida have historically been horrible. A florist is somebody who sells flowers. A florist would be somebody who sells floors. Another one of the few similarities between us, New York, and New England is our resistance to the Mary, Mary, Murray merger. The vast majority of the U.S. and Canada pronounce all three of those words the same. Like, Mary had a Merry Christmas because she got married. All right, listen closely out of Tanner's because I'm only going to say this once. Mary had a Merry Christmas because she got married. Mary, Mary, Mary. Just like it's spelled. Baltimore merges Mary with Mary, so they'll like have a Merry Christmas. But in Philly, they're actually not merging, they're getting more different. Mary is turning into Murray, like Bill Murray. In Baltimore, they'd say, take the ferry across the river. But in Philadelphia, a lot of us would say, take the ferry across the river. 